Yeah. <laughs> when the Constitution was adopted? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, uh, I've documented quite a few of the violating of the amendments of the Constitution. Yes. And then multiple times the violating of Article Number 4. Yes. And the enforcement of that fraudulent protection order. Mm -hmm. Now, it's probably one of these days where you're going to completely disregard, yes, any of the actual, actual, well, I'd like you to remove your fraud today. Oh, I want custody of my sons, yes, and I want to speak to Marilyn about residing together. Oh, and if you could make that happen as a police department. I'd like to use the courts of the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, you get me the prosecuting attorney's office in every city and county of this great nation. Mm -hmm. Because every time that a police or sheriff's department yes, makes up some sort of false, uh, fraudulent, uh, criminal charge. Yeah. If it's not real, yes, and it violates Article Number 4, I will sue every state. Could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Now, we're just looking through the modern history yes, of the world. There was this campaign against uh, France, yeah. and then there was the Waterloo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the accession of George IV yeah. mm -hmm. in 1817. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's see here. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president. Yes. Did you want to just uh, completely ignore all of the history of the United States. <laughs> when you decide right, that you're going to use the judicial system <laughs> to charge individuals with non-existent crimes, yes, so that you can use the jurisdiction of the United States of America, <laughs> so you can play some sort of game in court, Punch! I want you in prison today, mm -hmm. and I want every prosecuting attorney, yes, in every office of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. 